Mandy, for starters, the new chief isn't really new. He's had roots in North St. Louis County for more than 30 years, and he says he isn't going anywhere, especially as Ferguson police continue to face serious challenges. Yes, 1700 hours at 5 p.m. Wednesday, a changing of the guard from Chief Jason Armstrong to now Chief Frank McCall. Armstrong has accepted a job as chief of a police department in his home state of North Carolina, an opportunity he says he couldn't refuse, but he will reject any notion that Ferguson police are having trouble with turnover. That's misleading. So, uh, Ferguson has hired two police chiefs, you know, since the Mike Brown incident happened in 2014. That's it. Now, I know the headlines say, well, six or seven police chiefs and all. Well, Frank is already one of those police chiefs. My foundation is here. Frank McCall is a familiar face in North St. Louis County. He served the Berkeley Police Department for more than 25 years, leaving his job as chief there to become interim chief here. And now he is tasked with big challenges, including a police officer shortage. Ferguson's department is only about 75% staffed. And of course, realistically, that's going to take numbers and, and that's going to take quality officers to be here. And it's the only department in the metro area under a consent decree. It comes after the Michael Brown shooting in 2014. I'm not going to mention words. I mean, this is a difficult place to work. This is a difficult place to be a police chief and it's tough to be a police chief anywhere, um, but especially here in Ferguson with everything that we have, you know, uh, up against us. I'm not going in anything blind. You, you know, we have a task at hand. It's on the table. He says it doesn't matter what number chief he is, as long as he keeps his number one priority in check. Our priority is serving this community. And Chief McCall says another big part of his job will be communication with his department staff during this transition and moving forward. Now, he took on the job at 5 o'clock this evening. He will be sworn in to his new role at the next Ferguson City Council meeting. Jasmine Huda, Fox 2 News.